you new friends from the Netherlands. Used to have a house left into the mouth for an old RV called Penelope. She's in 1983. When you new friends from the Netherlands. Bad, bad, I'm Penelope. And I'm sticking pictures and patterns of design. Penelope loves drive until the end of time. If you like a vibe, please subscribe, please subscribe. Meet Patrick, the driver of the RV. Meet Petra. Hello. And this is our RV, a hippie Mercedes camper van from 1983. Together we are Pet a Pot, the first full-time van life vloggers of our country, the Netherlands. Because when we started living van life in the Netherlands, it quickly turned out that no one else was doing it. Living in a van and talking about it. So we instantly felt the need to share our van life adventure right from the start and have been doing ever since for the last five years in weekly vlogs. On January the 1st, 2021, we will have lived full-time in a camper van for whole, five whole years. And we have spent every day together as a van life couple ever since. So we have made this special video for you all, reflecting back on each year of van life. Starting with the first year of living the van life. But before we go more into that, let's start at the beginning and ask yourself the question, what were we thinking going to live in a van just like that? Why did we want to go and live in a van? And how did we pull off the switch from house life to camper van life? Who better to tell us? Then our old selves, us from the past, let's see what we had to say about it. We're prepping the RV, finally, mm -hmm. for some adventures. Thanks. By looking at these cards, you can see it's Christmas time. Christmas time. And we're in Amsterdam. I'm prepping the RV. This is our view. It's a highway sound wall. We're in the middle of the city. Stealth boondocking camping. This is our view from the street. This is our sweetie. Doing sweetie stuff. This is Patrick. Hello. And this is Petra. <laughs> we live in a house in, a, in, in, in Amsterdam. We've been getting more and more interested in minimalistic lifestyles, uh, living in a van. Uh, it just made more sense, uh, living in a van or an RV, a motorhome. Yep. Uh, just living in something that you readily buy and is yours. Half of my life I've been paying rent. It just doesn't make any sense anymore. We even moved in, we moved out of our our uh, big living room and we moved into our small bedroom. We moved into the small room to practice for the RV, so we could get used to living in a small space. And, uh, well, it went rather well, so the transition was smooth. We started <laughs> looking for a van uh, beginning of 2015. Mm -hmm. We started following a lot of YouTubers out there doing it mostly in the United States yep. and we really got in interested, uh, we got hooked by the, by the lifestyle, minima yeah, the, lifestyle the minimalism, the freedom. Mm -hmm. We really had a feeling like this is the year we're going to have to do it. If mm -hmm. we want to do it, we have to do it this year, we have to get rid of the house this year and just start fresh in January 2016, we want to be in the van, that was our goal. Yep. So we set it and then the months 
past. And past. October came, November came, still no van. December came, no van. Two weeks into December, mm -hmm. we saw a van, called immediately, and uh, mm -hmm. The van we bought was an old Mercedes 207D, a hippie camper van with love and peace to the world, hand painted on it, as well as a beautiful Ganesha, the protector of the travelers. Our van had a boot dinette, which could be transformed into a bed, and there were a lot of little storage spaces. We loved our old camper van, and it was our first love. Our first year of full-time van life, the first year was mainly about us spending quality time together as a van life couple, enjoying ourselves and having fun, while learning the lifestyle of the full-time RVer or motorhomer. How Petra and I met? I went to the, the human shelter. I'll pick this one. I'll pick this one. You're my new boss. I'm your new owner. <laughs> in the beginning, we always stealth camped or boondocked. This is us in our boondocking stealth position. Yes. We're stealthing. We have our uh, feet. And I can't talk loud? No. You're stealthy. I am stealthy. <laughs> and if we needed to use the bathroom, we would go to a paid campsite. We even went to a paid campsite just to do the dishes. We had a round sink and a square dishwashing box. So, yeah, I see. So it's not really possible to do the dishes, I'll be dishes. Hmm. That's quite a conundrum. Yeah. We were not camping anymore, but clamping. Glamorous camping. After a while, we learned about the existence of free motorhome parking spots. For us, this was a life-changing discovery. And because we were living the van life all year round, a lot of times outside of the camping season, we would have the whole camper spot to ourselves. For the only one, this is is mobile. And the whole spot is for campers. And we got it for ourselves. Mm -hmm. The whole place for ourselves. Awesome. And where are we? We're here. At the bear camping. Let's check them out, maybe we see some bears. Roland, yes. Bears. Bear. Our first year of fan life, there were no other fan life vloggers in the Netherlands yet. So we were the trailblazers when it comes to creating a Dutch fan life vlog. There were no other channels to learn from yet. We were about to make the channel that would inspire others to learn from us. Being the first fan life vloggers, create a big responsibility as well, because you get the chance to show people all over the world what van life in Europe is really like. On the other hand, many eyes will observe your every move and the last thing you'd want is become the story of failure. Living the van life is living one day at a time. You never know what any given day may bring. We were, however, convinced that if we would make it through the first year, we would have found a lifestyle that we potentially could do forever. 